All right, I hope this is a good mag magnification. I'm, oh, you guys can certainly see quite a bit. Um, and I guess you don't really need to... Um, like, I guess you guys just want to see the positional stuff or whatever. I don't know. Like, I, I because I do, there's going to be a lot of movement, so I, I don't want to, you know, hold on. Um, hmm. Yet again, I've, this isn't the camcorder, though. So I've got to remember that. Hold on. But I do want you to see 0118, I think. Yeah, you can. Okay. Well, maybe I'll just leave it alone. So this is going to be, uh, like I said, I think in... Um, well, up, up here. Okay, so that's at 0 0.7. See if I can get even smaller. Okay, so over here, yeah, up north there uh, at the Bregel River um, front, I, I stopped because I couldn't figure out what to do anymore. Um, so most of it will be here. And oops, I forgot about this guy too. So I'll have to remember um, number 23. Who are you? Hold on. But there's quite a bit of movement. Um, I'm doing what I can. I'm going to go and take a look and see if Charles Latora um, responded to my, should I use the, um, my little uh, crazy tweak, <coughs> excuse me, crazy tweak against that to see if it'll work or not. I mean, it's really risky. That's for bloody sure. So that's the 9th Cavalry Division. And I think the Russians, uh, if I remember correctly, the way they, uh, things have been put here, um, that's, uh, they're screwed, I think. Like, they've made it so it's so difficult for them, even with their movement of uh, uh, of six, to get in and out of these zones of control with that terrain and so on and so forth. I'm pretty darn sure the Russians were that, uh, smart enough that way. All right, so here we go. And that's quite a bit of them, I think. Uh, so at 1511 Galicia. So where are you? Uh... 1511. So I'm getting confused because we uh, right here. Ooh, uh, uh, yeah, rep point seven. Uh, sorry. It, it it switches over from the Tannenberg map to the Galicia map, and sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on here? Uh, so at uh, one five one one. So way the heck over here. Okay. Okay. So that's. Uh, Move HQ4, and that's in uh, Katowice, out of BG70 at 1511 to form BG24 at 1909. All right. Must be two cores there then. Uh, so I'm going to bring another one there, and that's going to be BG24. Okay. At 1909. And... They'll have zero supplies points. I'll put the book back. It's better if guys have had <coughs> only two cups of coffee or two cups of coffee, so I may have to use my second hand to do stuff like this. There we go. And that'll also be core command one. Alright, so I'm just getting stuff ready. To either oops. Do a supply or, um, but like I said, I want to use, oh, Jesus Christ, God almighty, got to really focus here. I've got the, uh, the arm very low, maybe I shouldn't have done that, so it's probably hitting my head, um, but oh well, it's a little late now. Um, so now move. Uh, core HQ. Oh, that's right. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to start. See, and I'm gonna when I play the game later. I I I think I've got to have to look at my notes. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about this, guys. Um, I think it's still a bit nebulous, and I'm I'm not really sure if I'm a big fan of. Oh, we'll see. I have to figure this all out. Cause I'm being really cheeky in some ways. I'm gonna be starting to move core HQs. I'm gonna be creating core HQs, moving the core HQs. Uh, and then using them to, to do divisional breakdown all in one turn for crying out loud. That's, you know, holy moly. So this guy now, Core HQ4, is going to use divisional breakdown on the 3rd Reserve Infantry Division, which is right there, and at 1908 into the Pomoresh Reserve or something, Reserve Infantry, well, I'm just going to say the Reserve Infantry Regiment Number 2 
and they'll have two strength points and they will remain as BG 20, uh, 21. Well, I'll get rid of these guys. And I'll turn you into a two. All right. And then what, <coughs> what else is going to happen? Then we're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me. Then we're going to have the Reserve Infantry Regiment number nine, and they're going to have one strength point. They're going to become number 32, and they're going to move to 1807. Okay. Uh, and am I doing everything right? Yep, looks good. Okay. Then the uh, the third divisional break up uh, all part of the divisional breakdown of that um, of um, the third reserve infantry, infantry division is going to be the sixth. Sorry. Oh yeah, I can always hit pause with the thing, so you don't have to hear me sniffle. Hold on. Oh, and I got a good good cough out of there too. I hope. All right. So uh, and it's going to turn into the sixth reserve infantry brigade with two strength points and they're going to become 33 and they're going to move to 2008 so they're going to go to there all right amazing what you can do with divisional breakdown that's all i gotta say because i'm really plugging up some holes as far as i'm concerned all right then at 12 14 where are you Galicia. So that's this one here, the 37th um, uh, Engineering. Can you see them? Just, eh? Yeah. So number 37, that's the move the, <coughs> excuse me, move the, here I'll take some water. Come on, whatever you are, go away from my body. Uh, move the 5th Engineering Regiment at 1214. To 1211 Ostrava and repair the rail line and continue to 1211. All right. So you're here. Yeah, and these uh, um, reinforcements appearing, uh, they're not of any value on the west side of um, the Visloka here. So um, that's one. Uh, and I think uh, since that's repaired, uh, two, three. There we go. Um, yeah, these guys appeared here. I'm just going to say that it's a uh, clerical thing, you know, the whole nine yards, whatever. They still need to do a lot of work. Gosh, I'll have to look at this later and see if it's all whatever. So, yeah, these uh, um, guys are going to have to go. Uh, well, I'm going to as the German player because um, I rolled the probability die and it said um, uh, don't fix the rail this turn. So I'm going to have to figure out a way of sending the reinforce the Austrian reinforcements that are of no use here uh, east of the to get east of the Visloka uh, towards the Austro-Hungarian sector all right <clears throat> so now uh, at 1712 Galicia uh, this guy here uh, entrain the third engineering regiment at 1712 and rail to 1613 uh, Okay, so you're going this way. I hope you can see that. Uh, I think so. So he's going to do this. So he's going to stop here and then eventually fix. Uh, that's how the reinforcements are going to go there. And I'm being a little cheeky monkey in the sense of, you know, I should be fixing this. But I'm like I said, I'm not going to. So that's that. We've done that one. And now we're up to number 25, <coughs> which is 21111. And BG-22. Okay. Uh, this guy here. Yeah, now it gets funky. I have to keep remembering that it's... Uh, yes, uh, that's BG-22, and so is that. But uh, it's like, which one? But they're both under uh, Corps Command 1, since uh, those Austrians are west of the Visloka there. Um, anyways, so move the Polish Legion Brigade, which is the Austrian 22, at 2111 to 2209. And yet again, just plugging up a hole. Yeah, I know it's paper thin. But what do you want? Um, now, at 1605, 
this guy here. Oh boy, wait until you see this. Uh, move H, uh, core HQ3, uh, BG71, at 1605 to the eastern portion of Wuj, uh, Wuj at 1602. And this is where I start getting the, uh, or whatever, but tough bananas. Um, so here we go. Uh, not yet, yet, but it's going to happen. Uh, move the 19th Land Rover Brigade, which is number 14, so that's at 1603. Ah, this is where we're going to get ready in for the attack, aren't we? Yep. I'll put these off to the side for now. Oh, Jesus. That was close. Um, that's number 14. So that moved the 19th Landwehr Brigade, number 14, uh, at 1603 to 1704. And we're getting ready for the attack. Um, then I'm going to move the uh, 6th Landwehr Brigade, BG-8. At 1703, crossing the uh, Pelika River or whatever river here uh, to 1803. And we just killed your river bonus. And I love life. All right. Get back in there, you little bugger. All right. Then uh, 1601. Uh, BG at 1601. Where are you? 1601? Aha, uh -huh, number two. Um, uh, uh, yep, uh, assign the 36th Infantry Division, BG2, at 1601 from 8th Army to Corps Command 1. Okay. As I need Corps Command 1. Uh, to supply the attack and I was checking for it yet again for core HQs and they can supply up to I think it's <clears throat> um, well they can do uh, I think it's two supply points and since each supply point for can uh, um, hold on I gotta find the C1 here um, they'll be able to do the eight to eight strength points there but I'm gonna hope to God that Charles says, uh, yeah, Chris, give it a shot. Um, so now you're a two. <coughs> um, and move to join the 19th Landwehr Brigade, BG-14 at 1704. So all that for nothing. Well, just a little bit, but not really. So you're going to here, and now you turn into a six. All right, and there's my eight points. And like I said, I was going to do the third guy here, but if I did that, then the Russians would have been able to use the woods. Because remember, it's uh, you go this way, you can also use the adjacent uh, adjacent hex sides uh, to defend. So by me uh, only going this way, uh, the Russians can't use those woods. So um, and I've killed the river bonus. So it's like yes. I love you. Um, that was I was just stunned that I could think. <laughs> one, two, three. Okay, goody. Uh, uh oh, one. So that's one, two, three, four. I hope cheaper's jumping. I have to check that. Otherwise, I'm gonna. Anyways, yeah, I'm pretty darn sure I did it right. Um, so number 30 at 1218. Uh, that must be Tannenberg then. Yeah, I was going to say. It's impossible that it would be. Uh, uh, 1218, move the 8th Army HQ at 1218 to 1401. All right. One, two, three. Or, so now you're on the Galicia map. Uh, assign the 2nd Cavalry Division, BG-11. Currently with the German Expeditionary Force, Jeff, to the 8th Army. All right. Get on there, you little brat. Um, and move to 1418. 
Tannenberg, temporarily joining Core HQ8, BG73 at that location. I'm just going to move them off to the side. Oh, actually, I know where it's going. It's, going to, it's just going to go right here. So we'll just do that. All right. So, well, obviously, I'm not going, you know, trust me, I'm going to avoid everything I can. I'd, I'd still be able to, whatever. But, I mean, be smart. Okay, so, uh, yeah, and then move Core HQ8, BG73, from 1418 Tannenberg, crossing the Vistula to 1417. Then, 1403, uh, here, um, 1403 Galicia, move the 49th Infantry, Reserve Infantry Division, BG-15, and that's going to be eventually uh, uh, the Little Jaeger Battalion there, one of them, uh, is going to become uh, either Sam or Frodo, I think uh, that's the 49th, so I'll be Sam. Um, and where are you going? You're going to go to 1321 Tannenberg using t uh, column movement. 1321. Yep, so all the way around here, and I can... Wait, hold on. I can get better than that, I'm sure. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I think, yeah, uh, thir uh, 1319. Yes, sorry. I, it was originally I was getting down here. I forgot to erase the thing. Okay, so there we go. You're good. You're good. Uh, I'm trying to get them into position. One, two, um, into position to uh, rail and, and and get to the uh, get to the proper spot. Um, <coughs> the launching uh, the launching pad. All right. So uh, and then I'm going to move the fiftieth uh, reserve. Hold on, I'm going to hit pause again. All right, here we go. Let's see if that helps. Now I'm going to move the 50th Reserve Infantry Division, which is number 20 right over here. At 1302, they're going to cross the Varta to join Core HQ1. At uh, one, Hold on here. Wasn't, it, wasn't I able to do something? It was the other way around, you tit. Yes, yes, hold on here. I wanted, yeah, I know what I'm doing wrong here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 15 goes back to 1403. Yes. Okay. Hold your horses, Chris. That's right. No, 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 yeah, that's what I want. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's column movement. You're ready to hop on a train. That's exactly okay. Trust me, I know what I'm doing, man. I, all right, I this I know for a fact. I don't know what the hell. I either I must have read, written it down twice. No, I don't, I'm sure I didn't. But there's something I did because I know damn well. At the very end, I was like, okay, this is makes way more sense. Once I figured out what I was going to do here, which is uh, uh, yet again, Mr. Cheeky Monkey with the divisional breakdown. I was going to originally um, just for temporary to kind of give the Russians uh, don't come anymore uh, towards us. I, I was going to send the 49th and the 50th Reserve Infantry Divisions, Jeff, towards here. But then I was like, Chris, man, you're playing a, a risky chance. If the Russians do engage, uh, you're either going to have to go into combat with basically components like Sam and Frodo are in there and you, you wanted to avoid all that. So you're wasting a turn. Potentially they're getting damaged. Like on and on and on. It's like, can you figure out another way? And I was like, well, you can. It won't be as effective in a sense. These guys are five strength points each. But I'm going to uh, divisional break down this puppy. And we'll spread out. We'll spread the love. Basically, that's what's going to happen. All right. And then this guy, one, two, three, four, can hop on in with um, the core, core HQ1. Because he's going to, uh, uh, in a second, once this engineering core goes over here, we'll convert that to rail. And um, so that'll be one, two, three. And so these two things will be rail. This guy can entrain next turn, and away we go. So I'm really happy about that. All right, so there we go. And all right, so I got that one done, I think. Uh, did I, when did I do, uh, number 13? Did I ever do number 13? I certainly hope so. <coughs> so 
That's one, one zero zero three. Hmm. I don't have you yet, you kid. Oh, there you are. Sorry. Um, assign the uh, 17th en Engineering Regiment at 1003, which is currently with the German Expeditionary Force, Jeff, over to the 8th Army. Okay. I'm going to go get an 8th Army thing. There we go. And then moves to 1203, converting rail as it goes. Look at that, eh? You see that? I just love it. And you know who did that? Alberto. Yeah, you know, and I don't care if he stole it from someone. He was the one who perfected it. That's why I'm looking at it. So there we go. So now we've got some beautiful rail going on here. Awesome. <clears throat> now well, let's get back to this crazy ass stuff, which is Core HQ um, eight over here, number seventy one. Pretty sure. 1602, yep. <coughs> I'm going to use Divisional Breakdown of the 1st Guard Reserve Infantry Division, BG5. And they're going to turn into the 1st Guard Reserve Infantry Brigade with two, SP, uh, two strength points. And they're going to remain in 1602. I'm going to turn these guys into a 2. And, oh, maybe I'm cheating. I think I am cheating. I would have, well, I am. Because they're under, um, so I would have to say, okay, I mean, it's a fudgy thing, but I have to remember that. Uh, and that's why I want to get into this proper wrinkle thing later on. Because I want to, like, like I said, uh, you know, role play narrative and all that stuff. And I want to make it somewhat realistic for my own brain. I'm like, Chris, you're doing a lot of, there's a lot, okay, you just told these guys, oh, by the way, you're now going to be assigned to Corps Command 1. Oh, and by the way, uh, you're going to have to be broken up into these brigades and regiments, and these guys go this way, and this guy goes that way, all while you're in an enemy zone of control. And at the same time that this headquarter, uh, Corps HQ, moved through a, um, a city you just recently took, um, and supposedly that went off without a hitch, is what I'm saying. So I'm, I want to get rid of that, but I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to go with it. Uh, this would be maybe one I would be yabbering on with Rob saying, are you okay with this, Rob? Um, kind of thing. <coughs> and he'd probably be like, yeah. Uh, yeah, he would. He's, he's, a, he's a kind soul. Except he's he's got a competitive streak, man. He's good. All right, so... But that's the only way I could get it, uh, get this going. So, is that uh, I know, and also I like I did say that you know uh, Eighth Army is kind of like in control of the whole nine yards. So maybe, you know, but still, I'm not, I'm not really. Like I said, I'm gonna have to figure this out for myself. Uh, okay, and they're gonna say it as BG five. Then they're gonna have the reserve uh, uh, also. With the divisional breakdown, the Reserve Infantry Division uh, Regiment number 64, they'll have one strength point, and they're going to move to 1601. And they will be number four. All right. And they're going to 1601. I have to get a C1 because I'm being a silly, silly bugger. An eighth army. Oh, all right. Sorry, dude. Uh, then I'm going to also have. Um, so I've got. Hold on here. Where, where are we here? Four. Oh, yeah. Uh, three is going to go to 1521. And that's going to be uh, Reserve Infantry Regiment number 93. And that also will have one strength point. So you can see, I remember I started with five, so we got two, three, four. So I still got one more, and I think uh, you can figure out where that's going. But now I have a little bit of a tiny wall, and you know, protected my uh, uh, my eighth, <laughs> the big boy, a little bit. Um, yeah, I should be causing some grief, I hope. Um, 
And I got my, yeah, I, I'm doing the best I can, I think. All right. And then the Guard Reserve Jaeger Battalion with one strength point is now going to become number six. And they're going to there. Uh, do I have a number six? I don't see a number six with my little guys. Hold on. Let's go and get the thing. I popped them out. Oh, there you are. All right. Yeah, like I said, then I hit a brick wall when I got up towards the other thing. I was like, holy cow, this is going to take a while for me, man. <coughs> Excuse me. More. All right. I may need another one strength point and a C1. Mm-hmm. Where are you? And a one strength point. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to definitely go and check and hope to God Charles Latour said, yeah, go for it. I really want to do a combat. Or I just want to see, and it's extremely risky because I've got this whole thing going. I mean, it could explode on the Germans if like, yeah, go for it. And it's like, oops, you, you went in with, you know, so. You know. But come on, it's, you know, it's. And maybe that'll compensate for me being uh, cheating-ish. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, how are we still doing here? Okay, so uh, I did. So now we're going to move uh, Core HQ7, which is number 75. And they're at 1614 Tannenberg. Okay, these guys. And they're going to cross the Varta to 1717. Can they do that? One, two, three. Yep. All right. Um, then Core HQ7, BG75, is going to use Divisional Breakdown yet again on the 41st Division, which is number 9, at 1817 into the 72nd Infantry Brigade with three strength points, and they're going to remain there. Okay. Ah. Where are you? Okay, I gotta go get a three. I should just bring the freaking thing over here, dude. Driving yourself nuts. Okay, where are we? Thing is, I, I get, I'm getting a lot. Okay, here we go. Maybe I should put like a little. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. Hold on, <coughs> just to have one. Nice little pink cube. I'll use the the dude. Just to at least remind me where the hell we are. Okay. Um, then I'm also going to uh, uh, make the uh, infantry regiment number 148 with two uh, strength points. They're going to become number 28. And they're going to go to 1618. All right. And I said two. All right. Where are you? I thought I grabbed one. I obviously didn't. Okay. Ooh, this one's going to be a funky one for later. I should, it's got like a one of my own little nibs because I was using not very good scissors. Okay. Now... Um, then I'm also going to, uh, make infantry regiment number 152 with two strength points and they're going to become number 29. And where are they going? And they're going to move to 1718. And I'll get a C2. All right. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, good God, man. Then, Core HQ, so... Not bad, eh? Like, it's starting to, you know, I mean, yet again, like I've said, you know, it's, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, maybe I'll move, do we need to move? Uh, where are we? I'm, I'm a little, like, I want you to see a bit. Okay, because we're right now, I think we're still okay. Um, and maybe I'll just, you know, I can stop when we get up to the, Maybe, yeah, I'll realize when we get to this spot, maybe I'll just stop and go, okay. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. Because that's, yeah, I can really focus on uh, just that spot. All right, so move Core HQ 2 at 8, 5, 1815. <clears throat> okay, this guy here. The, uh, right at the Alber Alberto Hex. Um, sorry, Core H. Q2 at 815, 1815 uses divisional breakdown on the 4th Infantry Division, which is number 7, at 1816 into the 7th Infantry Brigade with 4 SPs and remains in Hex 1816 as BG7. So I'm leaving 4 points there. Okay. Get the horse out of the way. All right. Then what? And then uh, create the 8th Infantry Brigade, excuse me, with three SPs, becoming BG-35, and they're going to move to 1916 uh, Tannenberg. All right. And you're going to see why, because these guys are going to go bye-bye. That's number 35. Yeah, I'm sh uh, shuffling out 35, or uh, 15 strength points worth. They're going. Uh, I'm going to take the C2 off, because it's not going to matter with these guys anymore. You'll see why. Um, <coughs> so at 1916, which is where these guys were, Move the 37th Infantry Division and the 3rd Guards Infantry Division, BG1, to 1815, which is where Alberto is, uh, Alberto's hex is, and a, and this is the, the, the important part, a German railhead marker, which was the initial spot way back when, when I play, uh, started back in March. So I was like, if I could just get to this spot, strategically or whatever as a I would you know I'd lose my marbles and I was so happy that it happened all right so they're there so now we're, we're at there with 15 strength points I'll put them off to the side um <clears throat> they're going to entrain um and rail to 0904 and be assigned to 8th army formally under Co Corps Command 2 so that's going to go to 0904 uh, Galicia, which is right over here. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put. I'll put the one back, but I'll pop them on a train because they're still in trained. So, hey, maybe I should make an Alberto train marker too. That would be interesting. Hold on, I gotta grab a thing of my bob. I don't have any more train. Guys, do I? I don't think I made a train one yet. Or did I? No, oh, shoots and I didn't. Arrgh. Oh, well, I'll have to pop a little, uh, well, I'll just use the old train ones. Shoot. I don't want to use any of my old stuff anymore. But I'll have to remember somehow. Yeah, I'll have to pick one. Alright. Because so I do have to remember that that's been in train. Uh, they're, um, I'll just do that. And they're now eight army, eighth army. And yet again, like how did they magically become uh, us? Uh, you know, I, yeah, I feel like I'm really. I, I'm hoping to God, Charles the Taurus. Um, look, I'm not trying to jinx myself, but part of me is like, you know what? I hope I risk it to the point where the Russians really punch me in the nose. You know, just to kind of balance the force or whatever. So there we go. Um, <coughs> now. For the big boy, zero one one eight over here, 
Special arrival from the Western Front as Manfred von Richthofen, the Red Baron's godfather, I'm not that crazy, is railed to join Corps HQ1 at 1103 to assume command of the Kriegfrosch. And you know what? Let's do it. I'm putting that flipping airship on there, baby. I want to see that thing sing. Look at that. Yeah. Look at you. You look real nice. I don't need to see. See, uh, we know what that is. Yeah, I love you. All right. What a flipping beautiful world, man. All right. Yeah, so the last little tiddly bit here is like um, I'm starting to talk about uh, making core HQs up in Konigsberg. And I, I did like a, like I said, I hit a brick wall. It's like, oh, my gosh, this is going to take forever. So I'll zoom in a little bit and then we'll zoom out again and see how that works. So you can see like maybe... There you go, a little bit of, you know, what it looked like, or a bit close up, or whatever. I'll try to move. Uh, what are we at? 1.2? Um, I'll go to just 1. Or how about 1.1? And I'll move her around, and then you can, you know, let's have... It's just, I'm still, um, I don't have a proper counterweight, and all that stuff, and... Whatever. Mind you, Zoe wants me to make her one, but a very simple one. I'm like, yeah, you're going to get a simple, uh, no moving. Like, she doesn't want to have to have the arms move. Just wants an overhead shot. I'm like, yeah, no worries. I can do that. That's so bloody easy. And all these crazy designs have shown me how to, you know, do something simple, simple. Like, everything, uh, you know, most of them are, like, way overcomplicated. But uh, my favorite design would be to emulate all oh, those basketball hoops. Things that you see kids use on the streets, that's the way to do it, as far as I'm concerned. So it was just, oh, sorry. Yeah. All right, let's zoom out a bit. There we go. That's at 0. 0.5. Let's go to 0. 0.7, 0. 0.6. There we go. I think that's not too bad. Oh, I forgot. I'm at the lower bit. Watch this. I made two uh, two tiers. So there we go. That's crazy. So there you go. We get a, another good shot again. So um, as you can see, the Germans are slowly filling up the line. This is going to be, oh gosh almighty. I wonder what's going on here, eh? We're going to have another... Uh, I don't know. Like, I just am so... I really, really want to get to the point where uh, we find out who's going to be... Um, um, you know, who, who gets the... wins the initiative and gets to go first. And I have no idea how the Russians are going to respond. Like, they obviously don't want to play ball, but do they know what's going on? I don't know. I know. So, okay, I think that's good enough. Like I said, and I I'm going to go and take a look and see uh, if Charles uh, responded to my... Um, thing about should I do it because I'd love because if he did then we're doing the combat right away and I'm gonna go risky business baby okay